Hello and welcome to my video all about how to make a stockinette stitch scalloped edge. As you can see the scallop effect is created by pulling the bottom of the stockinette stitch forwards and upwards. This creates little scoop shapes along the edge and there's a nice contrast between the right and wrong sides of the stockinette stitch. The first thing that you need to do is cast on a multiple of 6 stitches plus 5. I'm just casting on 17 stitches and this will create 3 scallops. I use the long tail cast on but you could use any method. As for the yarn I'm using DK or double knitting yarn. Ok so for row number 1 you need to begin by slipping a stitch knitwise. So take the right hand needle up through the first stitch as if to knit but instead of knitting it you just slip it off the end of the needle. Make sure the working yarn is at the back when you do this. And then you just knit the rest of the stitches in the row. Then for row 2 you start by slipping a stitch purlwise. So make sure the working yarn is in front of the needles towards you. Then take your right hand needle down through the first stitch as if to purl. But instead of purling you just slip it off the end of the needle. Then purl 4 stitches. You then need to repeat knit 1, purl 5 until the end of the row. So take the working yarn between the needles to the back and knit 1 stitch. Then bring the working yarn between the needles to the front and purl 5 stitches. And just repeat this until the end of the row. So knit one and then purl five to finish. Rows three and five are the same as row one and row four is the same as row two. So instead of showing you all that again I'm just going to put the pattern up on screen now. Here you can see after row four you've got two lines in the front of the stockinette stitch and each of those vertical lines has two purl bumps inside them. These will come in handy a bit later on. Then row 6 is very simple, you just need to slip one stitch purl wise and then purl the rest of the stitches. Then row 7 is where we create the scallop shapes. So begin by slipping one knit wise with the yarn in back, then knit 4 stitches. This should bring you up to the first vertical line on the front of your knitting. Within this vertical line should be 2 purl bumps which are basically just 2 strands of yarn that stand out from the surface. We are now going to pick up those 2 purl bumps as well as a horizontal strand of yarn in the cast on edge. So you need to take your right hand needle point up and under a horizontal strand of yarn directly below the purl bumps. You then go up and under the lower purl bump and pick that up and then the upper purl bump. So you've now picked up 3 strands of yarn with your right hand needle. You then need to knit a stitch. Then use your left hand needle to pick up the first strand, take it over the knit stitch and off the needle. Then do the same for the second strand and then the third. Then just knit 5 stitches and this will take you up to the next vertical line. And then you just do the same process as before. So take your right hand needle up through the horizontal strand of yarn in the cast on that's directly below the purl bumps. Then go under the lower purl bump and under the upper purl bump. Then just knit a stitch. And then pick up each of those 3 strands of yarn one by one, take them over the knit stitch and off the needle. Then you just knit to the end of the row. And that's it, that's how you make this stockinette scalloped edge. 
And here you can see my finished edging after I bound off. As you can see, the wrong side of the stockinette stitch has been brought forwards and upwards to create that 3D scoop shape. I also made a sample in super bulky yarn, just as a comparison. I just want to add a side note here that you can make an alteration to this pattern if you don't want such a dramatic scoop shape. In order to do this, you wouldn't just purl row 6, but instead you would repeat row number 2, which was this pattern. This would mean that you would have 3 purl stitches in each vertical line, and you would pick up these 3 purl bumps. You wouldn't pick up a horizontal strand in the cast on edge. Here you can see me demonstrating this method. This creates a much more subtle scoop shape. And that's it, that's how you make a stockinette stitch scalloped edging. I really hope you found this tutorial useful and thank you very much for watching.